I want to talk about preparing yourself for 2024 when it comes down to taxes. Hey, everybody over here in the YouTube and the Facebook. I got IG over here on my left. You got to be your right. So anyway, so when you see me looking over here, that's what I'm looking at. So I'm trying to give everybody a little visual of me all at once. So happy new year to you. Happy, 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 happy new year. I hope all is well. And let me get my microphone here together. I'm going to put this right here for a second. Let's get this mic together. We're going to talk about today, you, you see the title, Business Documents. We're going to talk about a little bit about EIN. We're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about, um, let's see, we're going to discuss um, personal documents and things like that you need to prepare for, uh, for your taxes. And the reason why I want to go and talk about this, because we want to reflect, we want to start off starting right when it comes down to getting business documents together for we're, we're in business and we need to make sure we got our documents correctly right. And I want to let you know the documents that you're going to need. You know, I always tell you to start out fresh with documents such as getting um, getting your structure together. Well, believe it or not, these these is going to this is going to help you along the way of being very, very how to say very, very um, advanced in a lot of your business endeavors and it's going to help you to qualify in the future i know a lot of you thinking that the system is tightening up and things are going to change and you know money is not going to be flowing and business credit is going to tighten up and yeah maybe it will and maybe some things will change but you're going to be better prepared for what's to come with you for your taxes and your all your business opportunities that's going to come to you in 2024 and I think preparing for them would definitely help you get there, right? Okay. So what I want to talk to you, to, what I want to go ahead and get started with now. And um, also, for those that don't know me, I'm Biz Strategist Sandy. I'm here to help you make it through 2024 starting out. So you're going to see a lot more of me. You, in a sense, those that will get sick of me will be those that are not my target audience. And you just happen to come stumble over my page. <laughs> How about that? So for those that, um, okay, um, I got it right here for the comments. If you have any comments for those that are just going to be here getting the information and you're just going to love every moment of what we share and what we talk about uh hey i'm love i love seeing you here and um for those that don't like it uh, and for those that is not for then share it with somebody that you think may think this information is valuable and helpful to them. So the first thing, first things first, the first documents that we want to talk about today is going to be your bank statements. Now, we are not here to talk about, we're going to talk about EIN a little bit, but I want to get you prepared for the documents that you're going to need for your business, your for your taxes. And even if you're just starting your business, listen up because you need to hear this. This is something you need to mm, okay this is something you need to be um up on and also over here like i said i'm i'm looking at two screens here so instagram is over here and you guys are over here so i got a lot of connections going on here so any questions any comments please ask them because I'm, I'm i'm looking at my my comment section and i'll be glad to answer them for you now like i said your bank statements your bank statement let's just talk a little bit about your bank statements how i think you may have heard me speak of this when i did a few videos last week and i was talking to some of my um my collaborating with some of my good friends that are in the business in their own professional expertise areas and, and by the way i'm going to this month i am going to do you know, collabs with as many people that I know about your business. And if I've even used your, your services, I want to highlight you. I want to talk about you. I want people to know about you. So connect with me if, um, you know, slide in my DM and just tell me, hey, you know, Sandy, let's, um, you know, do you mind collaborating with me and having me on your platform and we can talk about, you know, 
your business. We're not talking about me. We're going to talk about your business. Even if I have not helped you in business, I, there are some people that I really, and I may reach out to some people as well, but I want to kind of highlight you and I, we just got to, we got to kind of join and support each other in our businesses out here. Okay. So that's what I want to do for the month of January. That's the only month I'm going to do it because I got a lot of, um, workshops and things that I'm going to be doing, especially coming up and up until March. So anyway, now back to what I was saying about the bank statements. I mentioned to you about having your, your bank statement and just, just having a bank statement anyway, when it comes down to business, we're talking about business right now. We'll talk about personal, maybe tomorrow, or another day. So with your bank statements, when you are in business, you, you probably need to have at least about four different business bank accounts. And the reason why I say that is because it's going to help you get your operating expenses that you need to be in one, one account, maybe your taxes and whatever you make, at least take out 35% of what you bring into your business. So that way you can have it in a separate account. And so when it's time for you to pay your quarterly taxes, guess what? You won't be you you won't be all messed up or you won't know now sometimes you may that all of that because of your tax write-offs and things like that you may just be okay you know you may be okay with um you may have something left over is what i'm saying is when you file your quarterly taxes if you're not filing your quarterly taxes you should and then if not then you find and you're just doing it all into the same year where you know all into you know annually then okay you you, you really need to do your quarterly taxes okay so and then another bank account you should have business bank account you should have is one for i said operating expenses one you should have for your taxes and the one you should have for maybe just your operating ex operating expenses and also you should have one that you're going to maybe purchase have just one for like business and then also one if you have payroll do one for payroll as well but if if you're the only person that's working in your business and you're the only employee you should have something set aside in a different account for that and what that would do that will help you hey you guys coming in I'm just waving at you how y'all doing so that will help you to stay, you know, together when it comes down to you filing your taxes and you can stay out of the trouble, trouble with the IRS. Now, like I said, you're going to have a different, a lot of different tax write-offs. So I will definitely be talking about that more this week on the different tax write-offs that you can have in your business. So even if you are just beginning in your business, I'm talking to you too, because I know that in the future, you need to know this information. So let's carry on. Like say, for instance, if you have business credit cards, if you have a business debit card, and that's, and see, that's, that's why it's, and it's going to make it so easy for you when you are balancing your information when you're balancing your you know your business expenses when you're balancing everything out and it's going to help you to stay stay organized so, and that's the key to to being successful in, in business and not being in overwhelm is being organized so no okay i thought i saw somebody comment on something so now also it would be good to keep like any kind of council checks that you have or anything that you pay. Just keep a running. You ought to keep a journal or a ledger. And sometimes a lot of people do it electronically. But sometimes I think when you hand, when you're doing stuff with um, pen to paper, a lot of times do it electronically if you want, if you're more efficient or whatever. That's not an issue. But pen to paper is going to help you with this here. Anything you write, it sticks with you a little little longer. That's the psychological. So I'm telling you, it works. They always say it do. And I always hear about that. And yes, it really works. It really helps you. Now, also, even with your your, your documents, your business documents, your bills, let's say, if you, for instance, if you have a home office, it will be good to know that you, you can write a percentage off of your, if you have a home, you can write a percentage of your bills off um, for your home office. And uh, you can also write off and now if you are if you have a home based business and if you're living in a I think you know maybe an apartment or whatever that's that's something that you would have had to discuss with where whoever your landlord is and uh, get the permission to have your business from home set up and then a lot of times I don't know I'm not sure how they do it and 
if you're living in an apartment or somewhere like that, they they may have rules that you can and can't work from home. It all depends to me from my experience. It all depends on the, the company or the agency. You just be truthful with them and let them know what you're doing, especially if you're working from home and have a home office. You know, I'm not seeing that you just you got foot traffic coming through. No, that is not going to work like that. Not that. OK, now. I mentioned bills and let's okay. Now let's get into travel expenses because these are going to be expenses that's going to help you when you are filing and you are deducting, having deductions in your, you know, in your business. Now, now I'm not a tax advisor and I don't claim to be. So let me just, let me put this disclaimer out here. First of all, I don't claim to be, I'm just giving you, this is for information and information purposes only because I want you to have this information for your business. This is what I kind of like, you know, convey over and help my clients with. Now, also business meals is going to be something that's going to be at the tax deduction, you know, to help you with your taxes to your, your meals. And then the IRS will tell you what qualifies. So you got to have to know, you're going to have to sit down with a CPA or someone that's going to do your taxes. And they are going to tell you the specifics of what is going to be a business meal and what is not going to be a business meal. So you keep your receipts and all this kind of thing. And then sometimes if you're using your credit card, your credit card statements is a backup. So if you ever get audited for anything, when it comes down to your business, you have it together. I'm going to see, I don't see where mine is, but I always keep in my, for my business and for my personal, I always keep envelopes. I, I labor them like now I'm doing from January of 2024 to December, 2024. And I, always, you know, I um, always use those along with any kind of digital electronic thing, because you know what, a lot of times, and you can get these receipts machines, and then you can run your receipts through them, and then you can always, um, I think they can convert them into a PDF file, things like that. You can always do that too. It's, it's all kind of ways. It all depends on what you're comfortable with doing and what you like to do, okay, when it comes down to your businesses. So there's all kind of creative ways, but my recommendations is still go to paper, pen and paper is good. And then, like I said, just keeping, keeping a file or, and I think you need to keep it, keep them at least three years or now you check with the IRS to make sure that is three years, still three years, but at least three years. And then if you ever get audited, and sometimes certain things, they want you to keep them longer than that. So that's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of business that you're in. You de definitely need to know this. And then also any kind of gifts that you receive on any kind of there are certain gifts that even if you give out, there's a different tax bracket. Know what the rules are by talking to a CPA. Know what they are by talking to somebody that can help you to decipher between all of that. And then transportation costs, any kind of travel you do. I just mentioned travel expenses, any kind of transportation costs, whether you have a vehicle and things like that. You know, a lot of people at the end of the year, they always for a tax write off, they always go and get their G wagon and all these things. But it has to be a certain amount of certain um, way, a certain amount in order to be able to get the the credit. So you got to know all of that. You have to know the rules on a lot of these things that you are hearing out here in these social media streets. You have to know the IRS rules. Okay. Know the rules first before you go and taking up what somebody's telling you. Now, the next thing is going to be like whatever your rent and mortgage is of you. you if you have a brick and mortar, you know that finding out, help get keeping those documents together, because even if you have property in your business, finding out what is your benefit for the tax write-off. And that's why I say at least put 35% into a separate bank account, any money that's flowing through your business. And that way you can stay in compliance and find out, um, you know, and then find out how you, you're going to pay your taxes. But, you know, before all of that is done, you already have to have done the other things like being registered with your state. If you have sales, if you have a business that uses sales, you know, that you sell and merchandise or sell that requires you to pay sales tax, make sure that you're doing that. You don't want to be in business five years and then five years down the road. IRS or the state tax or your state taxes are astronomically high because you didn't even file any sales tax. Don't let that be you. I've read too many stories that it has happened to someone. Don't allow that to be you. Okay. 
now. And then also making sure you keeping, if you have employees and if it's even if you're the only one working in your business, make sure you have records of payroll, records and filing quarterly, records of everything. Keep records, keep records, keep records, keep receipts, keep inventory receipts, advertising receipts. When you're marketing, keep all of this, you know, whatever you buy for your business, find out how it can be depreciated in value. You furniture, anything you buy for your business, it has a depreciating value and you can write off the expenses each year. If something you have heavy equipment, you know, or a big, let's say if you have, a, um, you've purchased a lot of machine, you know, let's say for instance, if you purchase a business that requires um, depreciating your equipment, like let's say for a salon or something like that, for the sake of conversation, you can depreciate the value of your equipment every year, every year, and it will be definitely a tax write-off for you. But you're to get the, the exact amount, you need to talk to someone that is that knows the tax laws and that can help you with the tax laws. Because I'm just here to give you the information, and uh, that part of my business, I don't try to, you know, I do my, you know, I have someone that I work with to do my business taxes too, but for the most part, I pretty much know what I need to deduct. And then I just go ahead and give them a little, um, you know, I ask them about, am I doing this correctly or not? So that's what I do. And then also that I did mention marketing. And so that's pretty much, is going to be just a summary of what you have the important documents that you need to when you're preparing your business taxes. And we'll talk about personal uh, um, tomorrow or another day. Yeah, we'll talk about it. No, we'll talk about that tomorrow. And I want to want you to know that if you don't have your business credit together, you need to be working on that. And then if you don't have your personal documents, you know, that you would need to help you when you are starting business, you would these would be we'll talk about them and they will be businesses well you know what we can talk about them right now because they're not that many we'll go ahead and sum them all up together okay now the important documents that you will probably need to save for preparing your taxes say for instance if you know you separate remember you're separate from your business you're an employee in your in your business what you want to also do is make sure when you're doing your personal just go ahead and make sure that some of these documents are are lined up for you getting ready for the I, I probably may need to change the title I, I probably will change the title business documents for your taxes in EIN now also no 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 I'll do that tomorrow because I want to talk about EIN I mean you say make up your mind woman <laughs> no no I'm going to talk about the EIN now there's a lot of different rules and regulations that's coming for us with the EIN but definitely I want you to know a little something, something about the, the new things with classifiers with the EIN number. Um, and then also, let me let me give you this right here before I go any further. Your period, you know, your quarterly taxes, how they are due when you are doing your quarterly taxes. You know, from in the pay, the um, period goes from January 1, and this is just like your payroll taxes, January 1 to March 31st, April the 1st to May 31st, and then June 1st to August 31st, and then September 1st to December 31st. And their due is like on the 15th of April, the June 15th is due, September 15th, 15th is due, and then also the following January are due, and then you ought to, ought to you should look at your publication 505. That's publication 505. That will give you more information. You can go to the irs.gov, get that information, learn what you need to learn about your business. Okay. All right. Business, business, business. You need to learn that. Okay. You need to know what you need when you are working on filing your business taxes. So we're going to start this year off thinking about business. We're going to, we're going to hit the ground running about how to handle our, our stuff, our, our stuff. You it okay? All right. Hey, how you doing? All right. Now, one more thing I want to talk talk about too with the EIN number situation. And do you know that you have to 
if you if you get any EIN in this year, you have to start you have to start registering it as well. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. I just want to kind of give you a basic little information about the LLC, about what is an LLC for the most part, and then some of the things that you may not have been doing with your LLC that you definitely need to start thinking more about. Okay, you need to. I know everybody tell you get your LLC, get your LLC, so where you can protect your self limited liability protection, right? I know they tell you that. That is one of the things too, as well. But a limited liability is is a company is a business structure allowing allowed by state statute. Okay, now each state may use different regulations. So remember that. Know what your state regulation is when it comes down to your LLC. Know what your state regulation is when it comes down to your LLC. Once again, know what your state regulation is when it comes down to your LLC. Okay, now such, okay, now Owners of an LSC is called, you are called a member. You are a member, all right? Most states do not restrict ownership. So memberships may include individuals, corporations, other LLCs, and foreign entities. Did you know you can put an LLC within an LLC and an LLC within an LLC? Yeah, you can, all right? So protecting yourselves and separating. And then also a lot of people that are in real estate, they tend to do different LLCs because they want to protect. If anybody come and sue one of their LLCs, they can't touch the other one. So whatever kind of business businesses you're out here doing, make sure that you are aware of that. Okay. Now, a LLC does not want to accept its default federal tax, you know, do not want to accept its Fault um, is its default federal tax classification, or that wishes to change its classification. You need to use um, at the form eight eight three two, and that is you are di- you are you classified as a different corporation, but you have to file that particular form. You're in a different tax bracket, okay? Inform- this is for information purposes only, but you're in a different tax bracket. And if you go and click, you, you can get the free information. I, I explained all of this and I got a free guide for, you know, your business, your, your legit business. Um, I think it's let, let me see which one I because I have a few a few free thing, few free things that I give you. But it's um, but anyway, it's it gives you. It's free to you and it gives you a little um, legit biz, my legit biz blueprint and it's free. So if you click on it, it, it's a video, it's, it's a video and it has the sheets with it. So if you go and click there and get that particular document, it will give you information about what I'm speaking of from a more specific standpoint. And that is very important to you because you're classified different. And then a lot of times, you know, what a lot of people, maybe you have heard this and maybe you haven't, but when you are applying for business credit, because if you, the more, the more secure you are, you are, or the more incorporated you are, like you a C Corp, Corp or S Corp, make sure you follow their rules now. Okay. Once you do this and once it's being done for you, if you get an accountant, if you get a CPA or whoever you get to help you with this process, make sure, you know, it's, it sets you in a different tax bracket when it comes down to developing or getting business credit too as well. So not just your LLC as you're going up or S Corp or C Corp, you're taxed differently on each one of them. Okay. You're taxed differently and then your C Corp and your S Corp. So your tax won't you tax double tax on one, and then you're still you're taxing different brackets and, and things like that. So you need to find out what's best for your business. Starting off, maybe it's not recommended. Talk to a CPA to get more specific on what you need to do. I'm not advising you on that. Okay. I do know that one is a little bit better than the other when it comes down to that okay so make sure that you are aware of that so you start the year off right whether it's from your 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 business you were in business last year and this information is going to help you to establish yourself into getting you together for this year and then hoping that you can reflect and look back over last year and see where you meant you know you didn't grow like you wanted to or you grew and then you didn't structure and handle things like you wanted to this is an opportunity for you to learn this information and this week too we're going to talk about 
um, some of the, th the tax write-offs as well. If I can get, you know, my assistant, I have someone helping me to do like a little, um, my PDF file and I still got the other one I need to send out to the ones that, you know, requested the information about how to start a business with little to no money. And if you are interested in that one, let me see. I'm trying to see what did I tell everybody? What did I tell everybody to send me? I can't remember. I have so much stuff going on, but you can send me, send me a, um, let me see what, what it was. Cause I, I can tell you, what did I tell them to, to put in the comment? Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you, biz, um, put in, okay, biz 2024. Let me see. Did I say biz 2024? Yeah biz 2024 if you will put that in the comment and i give you a copy of the businesses that is as little to no money you practically can just you know get started with them in no time but you you definitely need to um i, I think it, it can take you a week to get them really set up and structured like you want to and then get up get up and running i guarantee you if you follow the things that i will share with you in a live um, a Zoom, we'll be talking about if I get enough people and when I should share a class with you, you will be making money in those in less than 30 days, to be honest with you. 30 days. 30 days. Hey! Hey there! <laughs> so anyway, um, that's going to be all that I want to say to you today. And Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope that you're making your goals, your plans. And I hope that you've reflected on last year and want to make this year a better year for you. Okay. I want you to um, be reflective of, of um, you and being a better you in 2024. Okay. All righty. Yeah. So thanks um, guys for being here. I'm going to tell you 2023. I don't know. Maybe we can get on one night and just talk about some of the things that happened in 2023 that we don't want to happen to us in 2024. But I've had a lot going on in my family this last whew, last month, um, really. So I just, you know, you have to keep going. And if I told you some of the things and which I'm not going to share because they are personal and um I don't want to talk about those into protecting, you know, some of the things that has just happened along the way. Um, I look at and I just know that there is a God and he is on time and he is loving and he's kind. Happy New Year. And he's kind and he's loving and he's so marvelous. And he's just so, oh, he just, God is awesome. He is magnificent. He is, I just can't stop. I will be here another hour if I just, just keep naming the names that he is because he's been there in my life for me this year or oh, last year and especially coming down to the end of the year i don't know what it was but the attacks were coming but god showed that he showed up and he showed me and um others of my loved ones my other loved ones that he is exactly who he said he is and he'll do exactly what he said he's gonna do and he's gonna you just gotta keep him first and you just gotta praise him and you just gotta tell him you just gotta let him know how humble you are for being his child you know so anyway um everything is gonna be all right in 2024 so anyway Alrighty, I will talk to you later. Thanks over here in um, Instagram land for joining me. I appreciate you so much. And I have an, I'm a, I miss you guys. I'm going to do better in 2024. How about that? <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks again for listening. And I hope that this information will help you in your business. Okay. So be a strategist, Sandy. I'm here and I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll talk about the personal side of the documentation and everything that you would need for us when it comes down to you getting your taxes together. Okay. And, you know, getting things together. And even this is mainly for the ones that are in business as well. Cause like I said, you got a personal component to you if you are here doing business and we're going to talk about some of the things that you need. Okay. We want to be equipped more to do do and help one another. Let's let's do. Can you do this for me, everybody? Can you do this for me? Can you show more love in the world? Show more love, more love in your community and the people that you come in contact with. Show them that um, they um, there is love because you are. If you if you 
exemplify the love that everybody needs, then they can there be believers. We don't believe anything because we don't see anything. Mm. We don't believe anything because we don't see anything. So that's why we don't believe. But we all know faith without works is dead. And, you know, we must be a believer. But I'm saying the the belief that we always bring forth and what we always say that we have and that we always shout in the mountain to, to the mountaintop that we are. People don't see it. OK. All right. Just show up. Show up authentically. <laughs> All righty. Thanks so much. And y'all have a beautiful day. All righty. Take care. Bye. Love you. <sighs>